A grocery service that will actually deliver groceries to your room. So Chad and I just got another order. So we're having to put them in these Ziploc bags. And I hope it doesn't create a problem at the airport trying to get these back. Um, in order to travel with breast milk, you have to declare it at security. And then you have to have at least it's either 3.4 or 4.3 ounces in every bag. And it has to stay frozen, otherwise it's subject to inspection. So anyway, I hope carrying them in these bags as opposed to breast milk bags where you can see how much is in there because it has the lines saying four ounces, five ounces. I hope that doesn't cause an issue. <laughs> Although I know that I know that I'm fine. I just hope it doesn't cause an issue because I know how much this holds, so we'll see. Mm. Breastfeeding, you start to feel like, especially when your child's not around. I think when your child's not around, it's more noticeable. When your child is around, it's just something that helps them sleep. But when you know you have a sitter or like you're having your own time and sort of getting a break from being a parent um, it's highly noticeable how often you have to pump and this isn't even with a newborn when they're exclusively breastfed and just feel like you're constantly feeding your baby but Tinny only eats you know three times a day so I'm only pumping for 20 minutes three times a day Breastfeeding is a lot of work. We actually have two fridges in our room because the fridge that comes with a room didn't have a freezer. And I, of course, have to freeze my breast milk to take back because I have to pump the whole time I'm here. So, um... That was so nice of them. I just called down to the concierge thinking that they would probably um, just put the, the frozen breast milk in one of their freezers in one of the restaurants for me, but they actually just delivered a refrigerator to our room that has a freezer with it, which was so nice. And what's so funny is I think it's like, <laughs> It looks, a, it looks a little beat up. I have a feeling that we probably stole someone's personal fridge from like out of their office that works here. Um, so I'm very sorry about that, but the hospitality here is really on point. <laughs>
Okay, so I have my makeup done and my hair. It's nice and straight. Just not sure what I'm gonna be wearing yet. Chad looks good. Look at you, baby. Now that you're unbuttoning and unzipping your pants, the second I have you on camera. I think this is the thing for me to wear. Don't you think? Sure. Like that or this. I like that. I knew you were going to choose the dressier one. <laughs> Chad wanted me to wear this. I like this dress. Alright, so I'm ready. Wish the light was better, sorry. But I'm wearing this pink and I don't know, gold speckled dress. With a nice sparkly sandal heels. Chad picked out my outfit. <laughs> That's so funny. So even when he's dressed, whether he's dressing me or Tennyson, Chad always picks out the absolute girliest thing in our closet. So it's really cute, actually. But yeah, you can see the dress better over here, I think. so funny that I went shopping for clothes for this and I haven't even worn any of those things yet. <laughs> Chad and I are having so much fun at this reception. This is so cool. The all new 2020 mid engine Corvette.
Good morning. We're on our way to Catalina Islands today. It's before 6.30 in the morning, and so neither one of us are very happy right now. We're not morning people. And we got in really late last night. <laughs> It's about 10.15, we get to do what we want for the next hour or so. And then we can meet up at the casino if we want to. We want to walk down to the beach, Descansito, with the rest of our group. We're not sure yet what we're gonna do. But this is a cute area. This is so cute. Look at that! Oh my gosh! If we had a golf cart, we could go back up to those places and take cool pictures. Because, you know, that's all that really matters. Yeah. I've heard. <laughs> oh, I see if they have a souvenir for Tinny Bear. Are we going to get something for Tinny Bear? You want? Can we get her a shirt? Yeah. Let's give her this one. You think that one? Mm-hmm. Or there are the little hoodies. <laughs> <laughs> the little hoodies. Check those out. This is a 2T. It's <laughs> so cute. Get it out. I actually think I like this one better than the pink one. Mm -hmm. It's got pink on it. Aww, for teeny bear. Yeah, cool. And we need a frame for our picture. You're like, we do. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know we needed it, did you? We had to find a restaurant where I could pump. <laughs> um, and restaurants that have power outlets are kind of hard to come by here. So we chose this beautiful rooftop place that actually has plenty of room for me to pump. So I got my little breast pump here, <laughs> plugged up over there, and I don't see how, but we got the place to ourselves. This, is, this place is kind of tucked away for the conservatory, but look at that view. Holy cow. I mean, oh my gosh. I think this is the best view I've ever had while pumping.
million dollar view of Catalina right there. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Get in here for a second, babe. Well, that was fun. We're done with the golf cart. Self-guided golf cart tour, compliments of Mr. Wilson. Very good job. Didn't reckon die off the side of a mountain. He tried to though, he was on the wrong side of the road for a second. Yeah. But now we literally have a boat to catch. <laughs> <laughs> We just got back from Catalina Island, ah. and that was so fun. Ooh, I got some sun. Look at me. We had so much fun. We took a golf cart around the island, as you guys saw. Um, right now, we're just about to call Tenny and talk to our little boo-boo. And I think we're going to find something to do local for the rest of the night. Um, yeah, just going to enjoy our last day here. Today would actually be a perfect day to go down to the beach, babe. Hear me? Go ahead. He's really going to act like if I want to go to the beach, I'm not going to somehow manage to drag him down there. Danny, Danny, yes, mama, open your mouth. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> so I just got to talk to Tenny. Um, I we're coming home tomorrow, but we won't be getting in until late, so we won't actually be seeing her until Sunday. Today's Friday. We leave tomorrow, Saturday. We won't see her until Sunday, which is sad. But um, I wanted to show you what we got for her at Catalina Island. So for Tenny. Since she already has so many toys, <laughs> um, we didn't get her another stuffed animal. We just got this little shirt for her. It's a little hoodie. Isn't that precious? This is a 2T. So it'll be a little bit big, but she can grow into it. We got this frame for those beautiful pictures that we took. I can't wait to put one of those pictures in the frame. And Chad loves Christmas, so... This is a Catalina uh, Christmas ornament. I'm not going to take it out, but that's what we got.
a kidney. Uh, <laughs> more importantly, goodbye, half model of Jack Daniels. <laughs> Unfinished. <laughs> Got my best this morning. Ooh, gross. Couldn't do it. Gross. I'm. I personally am very happy that you failed. Otherwise, we would have had a bridesmaid's moment on the airplane. Who is that? <laughs>